Hi there, how are you doing? Uh, this is Miguel Trujillo, and uh, it's Veterans Day, which I think is the 11th of <laughs> November. And um, so I got the day off, which is kind of nice. And I started the day with a wonderful workout at the gym. Today was a back workout. And I uh, increased my weights in um, two of my exercises, which I'm glad for. And I also did a lot of pull-ups. I did like five sets of pull-ups, which is something I don't normally do. Usually I, I only do two or three sets of pull-ups. And the reason is because pull-ups are such a, uh, such a, you know, they're, <laughs> they really tire me out. And, um, and I put everything I've got into my pull-ups and I've heard people talk about pull-ups as being a skill. And I think that that's probably true. And, but I was really feeling it today. I felt really energetic and I felt really skilled and I very methodically banged out some pull-ups and I banged out five sets. So I'm a, I must've been I don't know what happened to my body. You know, why was it feeling strong this morning? I'm not sure. Um, um, maybe I've been feeding it well. Perhaps I've been feeding it with a lot of carbs and protein lately. And so if my muscles had the glycogen it needed to, you know, really deliver this morning. I don't really, I'm not really sure what that's all, what that was all about, but I had really good, a really good workout. And uh, so, Came back home, had some breakfast, and now, right now, I'm actually contemplating going to the gym a second time today to do some running. I'll probably go to the gym, gym and do some um, slow running. You know, when I go running these days, uh, I go. I've been running on the treadmill. I've been trying to find a local track. Uh, and there are a few tracks here in Santa Barbara. There's uh, one down at UCSB. There's one at uh, Santa Barbara City College. And there's another track at some school, I think in Montecito somewhere. Anyway, I can't get any information about whether they're open or closed. I do know that the UCSB track is closed. And I've heard that the Santa Barbara Community College track is closed too. So I really want to find a track with a nice soft surface so that I'm not, uh, I'd like to be able to run in a place that is outside. I don't care for going to a gym, which is kind of an enclosed space. I certainly don't want to stay in there for an hour. And so I'm really struggling to find a track with a nice surface that I can go to. I suppose I could go run on the beach. That's always a possibility. Um, you know, that may be the place where I need to go. Hmm. Uh, but here's the thing with running on the beach, I'm gonna totally mess up my shoes. <laughs> now, thankfully I do have a pair of old tennis shoes that I could wear on the beach if I wanted to. I have a feeling that running on the beach is a whole lot different than running on a track or running on the treadmill. Maybe that's what I need to experience anyway. I have been, like I mentioned in the past, I have been um, running outside just on the streets and on the sidewalks, but that's been playing havoc on my knees, particularly my left knee. And so I've been wanting to avoid that. And the treadmill work that I've been doing uh, has been really improving my knee pain. So much so that I don't, think I want to start running on the on the streets and sidewalks again at least for a little while now when I do go running in the gym I I mask up and I got my goggles on and I'm set so I've got my PPE going so that I uh, don't don't get infected at the gym and of course I'm uh, spraying everything down with antiseptic spray and rag and stuff like that and I also try to run uh, near like a window or a door that might be open. So, you know, you, you do the best you can with what you've got. And um, I know, I guess there is an argument for not going running right now. And uh, 
that might be okay. But here's the thing. For me, running is really critical. In fact, I think it's one of my most critical exercises because it's such a full body exercise. I have a feeling that running protects me from things like back pain. I think it's uh, really good for my cardiovascular system, my heart. I think I, I get a lot of benefit from running. I, I have, have a suspicion it lowers things like blood glucose level and triglycerides. And of course, I'm sure that's true for weightlifting too. But there's just something special about running and you know, I really don't want to give it up. So anyway, I think I might just mask up and goggle up and go running on a treadmill next to the next to a door or something like that. I have considered getting a treadmill here and, and uh, bringing one inside the house, but I don't think that that is going to be logistically a worthwhile thing to do. Yeah, I'm not sure that that's really going to be feasible. The thing about my apartment is that there's not a lot of storage space here. I guess one thing I could do is I could, uh, if I could contact someone who's got a treadmill in their garage and just go on over to their place. That's a real possibility and I might look into that. I could always check on social media and ask anybody locally here in Goleta and Santa Barbara if any of my friends have treadmills they're willing to lend me for an hour, two hours a week. <laughs> that might not be a bad thing, really. Anyway, um, I'm also looking forward to swimming a little bit more. My apartment complex has, been, has opened the pool recently and so I want to make time out to go and uh, go swimming. I need to figure out how the reservation system works and set up an appointment to do that. Well, let's see. So that's going well. Let's see what else is going on in my life. Um, Thanksgiving is coming up. Looking forward to that. I've been reading a lot about Corona lately and... Um, I think I'm going to do my best to lay low this Thanksgiving, at least lay low to the best of my ability. Uh, I've also been interested in reading and watching movies. Um, I've been uh, watching some videos lately relating to psychotherapy because I have an interest in psychology. I have had for a long, long time, ever since my early days in high school. And um, recently I watched a video about um, uh, the originator of um, cognitive behavioral therapy, Aaron T. Beck. And it, it was kind of it's fun to watch somebody interview Aaron T. Beck. They called him Tim. And I guess that's, I think Aaron T. Beck's a uh, professor at the University of Pennsylvania, although he may have died. I'm not sure. Um, I, I certainly hope not. You know, I don't think he's he has died because um, I'm a subscriber to the newsletter at the, it's like a cognitive therapy institute. And I think his daughter runs the whole thing. And um, I think I get regular updates. I certainly hope he's still alive. He's, Aaron T. Beck is one, is a hero of mine. I've got a number of heroes. Uh, Albert Einstein, Albert Ellis, um, I've got actually I've got a number of psychologist heroes, you know, uh, Marshall Rosenberg certainly, and um, of course Aaron T. Beck, and uh, let's see who else? I do have some more, some more psychotherapist heroes, <laughs> um, and I also have a lot, a, a lot of uh, science heroes. Anyway, I don't think I'll get into that right now. <laughs> but so, yeah, I've been listening to some, uh, watching some videos um, relating to all kinds of subjects. Um, there was a Gestalt therapy video I watched about sort of understanding unmotivated patients. And that's kind of interesting to me also. Um, and you might ask why, <laughs> you know, I think that on some level, 
um, lack of motivation plays a key role in whether people develop their potential or not. Um, it plays a key role in whether people um, live values-based lives. There's something about motivation which I think is key. That intrinsic motivation, I think, is uh, really helps. You know, if a person is sufficiently motivated, there's almost nothing they can't do. And uh, you know, it strikes me as being as being the heart of a lot of problems in uh, for individuals and groups and societies and even the world. Just lack of sufficient motivation. Um, you know, even problems like climate change or, you know, I think they really boil down to lack of motivation. So, because I think the solutions are out there. We just uh, don't have the energy or time or somehow don't prioritize um, that kind of decision, that kind of solution looking, looking for solutions as much as we probably ought to. Anyway, that's my 10 minutes. Thank you very much. Appreciate you listening. Take care.